Hello everyone. On, on this video, we are going to learn how to uh, simulate this voltage connection and and find the, the shear force acting on each bolt. There is going to be a force acting on that direction and that force uh, value is going to be 5,000 pound force. So let's go to SOLIDWORKS and um, this is the assembly that I created to simulate the two plates and the bolts will be um, placed on these holes already made. So from here, we can go to the uh, simulation. If you don't have the simulation tab, you can just right click and select simulation and it'll appear here. Uh, next, we can um, create a new study and we can rename this as voltage connection. And you can say this is a shear type. And let's hit OK. Uh, the first thing we have to do is apply a material to the to the plate. For this problem, let's select the 1045 steel and let's hit close. Next, we'll apply a fixed geometry to the um, let's apply it to the bottom of this plate and um, we'll keep the fixed geometry type and let's hit OK. Next let's apply a force. As I mentioned to you there will be a uh, shear force acting on the bolts so we, we, we put the, the force here and the magnitude is going to be 5,000 pound force and let's revert reverse direction. Let's hit OK. Under connect connections, let's right click and select the um, the bolt connector. So there are a few um, connector types. For this problem, we're going to use the um, the standard bolt with a nut. So there will be two boxes here. The first one is going to be for the bolt and the next box is going to be for the nut. So let's select the um, the bolt. So we need to select the edge where the bolt is going to be uh, located. If you notice um, the, um, the diameter of the bolt is automatically calculated for you right here and the um, the head diameter the, there is a factor uh, of 1.5 times the, the shank diameter this is a default value but if you if you happen to know the head diameter you can change this so now let's select the nut the nuts will be on the other side of the connection. So select the face. So after you select those two, we can um, scroll down and um, we're going to keep the uh, distributed connection type. This connection type allows the faces attached to the ball connectors to the form, which delivers a more realistic uh, simulation of a connector's behavior. Um, under material, if you have a custom material, you can define your own material properties. Uh, for now, we can just, we're just going to keep alloy still. Strength data, uh, select this option if, the first option is if you know the um, stress area. Otherwise, uh, let's select the calculated um, tens tensile stress area and let the program calculate that for you. So the thirds per inch, this is a value that comes with the bold specs. So for this type, we'll, we're going to select 10 and the uh, bold strength, we're going to make it, um, let's make this 75,000 PSI. Safety factor, this is the um, 
this is the desired safety factor that we would like to achieve. So for now, we'll leave it at two, but you can always change it. And we are not changing the anything on the advanced options or symbol settings. Looks like we have all the parameters uh, completed. So we have to follow the same step for the other bolt. And uh, for that, we are just going to keep this uh, keep visible pin and let's hit OK. So by doing that, all the settings that we created are going to stay the same. All we have to do is select the edge for the other bolts. So, so that would be the bolt. And now select the nut on the other side. And let's hit OK and close it. Now let's apply some um, local interactions. So let's go to connections, right click and select local interaction. And we want SOLIDWORKS to locate that for us. So we're going to select the two plates that we created and click on find local interactions. After we do that, we can hit OK. You'll get the message saying that uh, they found a local interaction. So let's click Yes. Um, it looks like we have all the settings that we need. So we have the material, we have the connection, we have the bolts, we have the fixture external load. Now we need to mesh create mesh, right click and create mesh and let's hit OK. And now we're ready to uh, start the simulation. Let's run this study. The simulation has been completed. Now we are ready to obtain the, the shear force acting on, on those bolts. For that, we can right click on the results and we're going to select define pin bolt check plot and let's hit OK. After we do that, we can select details from this window. And before we check the, the values, so since we apply a, um, a force equal to 5000 pound force on this direction, so I'm expecting the shear force um, on each bolt to be 2500 because that force will be divided by these two uh, by these two bolts so once we um, click on details we we will get this window um, from here we can here make sure that you have uh, bolts and on the units select ips and from here, uh, these first three rows are um, are related to nut number one, and the other three are related to the bolt number two. So looking at the shear force for bolt number one, we see a force on the Z direction and the resultant equal to 2,500 uh, pound force. And for the bolt number two, also 2,500 bolt, uh, pound force. And that's what we uh, expected um, for these two bolts. We can we can close this window, and there is another way to check to check that is uh, you can just right click on the results, and um, now we're going to select list connector force. After you do that. Uh, Make sure that you have the connector force checked and change the units. And we can see it from here that the same value is obtained, the shear force 2500. This is for bolt number one and for bolt number two. It's also 2500. Um, if you want to see the displacement and you want to animate how this is going to um, behave 
when acting on when the force is acting on those two plates we can right click on displacement and click on animate and you have a uh, a visual representation of of this uh, voltage connection Similarly, we can go to the stress and um, we can also animate under the stress. And, uh, and this concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoy and uh, thank you for watching.